Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and that you've been enjoying this mini-series on the Kingdom of God. Basically, we've just been isolating some of the New Testament scriptures that Jesus talked about by giving par parables. And so today we're going to look at Matthew 20 verse 1 because Jesus specifies, For the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. Okay, you can call this the master class if you want to, because we're going to learn what our master does. He went out and he hired one group of laborers and they agreed on a price for the wages. Then later on in the day, he went again, hired another group for the same price and another group later in the day for the same price. And then for the very last hour, because he realized the urgency of the time, the master hired a last group and they all received the same salary. So what happened? Well, the people who worked the longest complained about those who worked for the shortest amount of, amount, amount of time and received the same amount of money. But what is the master's attitude towards this? Well, he was very clear from the outset about what the reward was going to be for all of those who participated in the labor of the vineyard. Why is that? Because he is the one who determines what the righteous thing to do would be for all those he has called into his service. Now, sometimes we compare ourselves to others and we don't like what we see because it seems like what we're experiencing is unfair and what they're experiencing is so much more blessing. Don't we have a tendency to do that? Well, our master, the Lord Jesus Christ, is challenging that attitude. And he wants us to be very aware that this is truly the time to be enrolled in his service. Why? Because we are in the last hours of the last days. And yes, our reward may be the same as those that have labored from, for many, many years. But at that point, we don't have any excuse to be prideful or to let ourselves fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others or thinking ourselves better than others. The master is the boss, right? Not you, not me, not your pastor. The Lord Jesus is the master of the harvest, the master of the vineyard, and he knows exactly how and when to position his laborers to be the most fruitful and to see the promises of his covenant accomplished. So, one thing is certain, uh, it's not our activism, it's not our busyness, it's not our filling our days with Christian activities that are going to earn us more rewards at the end of the day, no. We are called to pursue the very things that the master desires of us. It's not being busy, it means being obedient. What has he given you as your particular task in the kingdom of God? What has he entrusted to you, your mandate, your mission in his vineyard? With the help of the Holy Spirit this week, I really believe that some of you are going to get a new understanding of what you've been called to do. And re just think about how the master will rejoice when he realizes that you have an obedient heart, that you are ready to pay the price to go where he says to go, to do what he says to do, no more, no less. You see, that is the key to see the fullness of the kingdom manifested in our lives. Discern today and in the coming days what you are meant to do. Don't compare yourself to others, but discern with the help of God how you are to be fulfilling your mission in this generation to be pleasing to the master and ultimately to receive your eternal reward. And please let me know if these messages have been inspiring you or encouraging you or speaking to you. You can just click like and that'll show me that you're listening and that you're receiving something from these times. I look forward to seeing you next week.